Karen Diebel is running for the um, District 24 congressional seat now held by Democrat Suzanne Cosmas. She is a Republican. She is on the Winter Park Commission. We're going to talk with her in the 8 o'clock hour. Um, but she was, um, she and her family were the focus of one of the most heartbreaking stories I have ever, ever reported on in Central Florida. And I, I just wanted to say a word about this, too, because I do not want to derail her. I think it would be inappropriate to bring this up during the interview. But your heart has to go out to this woman and to her family. She lost her husband, Dr. Donald Diebel, in an accident that made headlines. He was killed in a tragic car accident on the turnpike. Do you remember this? The family, their three sons, they were traveling on the Florida turnpike on their way to visit her parents. They came across an overturned pickup truck that had crashed in the median in the bad weather. Dr. Diebel didn't just drive on by. He's a doctor. He had a calling. He stopped. He pulled over. He got out to aid the newlywed couple that was trapped inside. But as Donald and a volunteer firefighter who had stopped were working to free the two victims, a tractor trailer plowed into the two men, killing them both. It's just an unimaginable tragedy from which Karen Diebel has rebuilt her life. And now she's taking a new turn, and she wants to represent District 24 in the United States Congress. You will meet her as we continue. Patriots, we greet you from the 50,000-watt front porch with a pre-Thanksgiving Day edition of Bud Hedinger Live. Happy Thanksgiving to you, one and all. Thanks for joining us, where God and country are honored and old-fashioned American values never go out of style, and where we continue to serve up a feast of local politics here on the 50,000-watt front porch, continuing with another candidate for the Cosmos seat, District 24, running on the Republican side for Congress, is Winter Park City Commissioner Karen Diebel. She's on the 50,000-watt front porch. We'll get to know her in just a couple of minutes. We had scheduled Republican Sandy Adams on the show, uh, but uh, we suddenly could not establish communication with her, and neither could her people. Might be a cell phone situation as she was on the road. They uh, profusely apologized, and I know we will have Sandy Adams back on the show. Back to the feast of local politics, focusing on District 24, the congressional seat that was drawn for Republican Tom Feeney to have a long career there. But the tidal wave that swept Barack Obama into the presidency and his own ethics problems swept Tom Feeney away. And Democrat Suzanne Cosmas is now the incumbent in District 24, which extends from the heart of Central Florida all the way out uh, predominantly along the Space Coast. Suzanne Cosmas has no shortage of opposition. We've asked her on the program repeatedly. She has yet to accept the invitation from the Bud Man, and the invitation stands. So we've decided to invite all of her opponents, and we've put them on the air in the order in which they responded to our invitation. So at 7 o'clock, we had uh, uh, the man who's going to give her a Democratic uh, primary fight, Paul Partica, uh, Sandy Adams, the Republican, was supposed to be on, but she uh, we couldn't communicate with this morning for whatever reason. We'll get her on again. And uh, we are welcoming fellow Republican Karen Diebel here, who is running for the Cosmos seat. She's the vice mayor and city commissioner of Winter Park, has been since 2007. Karen, welcome to Bud Hedinger Live. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving to you. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving to you, too, as well. I want folks to get to know you. We'll have opportunities along the way for more in-depth interviews. But just as we did with Paul Partica um, in the 7 o'clock hour, I'd like folks to get to know you just a little bit. Uh, professionally, you work for uh, Verizon as uh, the executive director at Verizon Business Locally, right? That's correct. But I uh, work for Verizon here uh, actually in a global business unit where our charter is we solve for the most complex business and technology problems for the Fortune 100. So I am fortunate enough to be based in Orlando and work on the national and global scale. And, of course, you're in local politics as documented in Winter Park. What prompted you to run for Congress? 
Well, but what happened uh, along the way is I had a firm belief that we could bring business to government and be able to bring the acumen in strict fiscal conservative, conservatism in to local government and really take a hard look at the budgeting, the bond issue process, the spending, and for several years have just led on the issue of being able to uh, bring this government to a better efficiency point. So what led me to uh, become an elected official was doing some things privately in the community, including uh, health care uh, options, and we have a health care clinic for uninsured that we have through our family foundation, and I had done some things in conservation and so forth. But at the end, government was still in the way of being able to do some innovation in those areas, and I ran for the city at the municipal level just really to bring some business skills to government and been able to be very effective doing that. Why District 24? Why are you going after Suzanne Cosmas? What is it about the way she has performed in Congress that doesn't work for you? Well, Suzanne Cosmas is is certainly not representative of our district, which is certainly a conservative district, but moreover, we have an incredibly strong district here in 24 with our high-tech and biotech employment and companies that are at the heart of our local economy here. And the skill in being able to strengthen those and not put those at risk, which there currently are, and we know how many jobs are at risk at specifically at the Space Coast, is you have to be able to get government out of the way of private enterprise. Do you believe Suzanne Cosmos has failed to do that? Absolutely. Uh, by, by voting and her behavior through the pick an issue, the, the stimulus, the cap-and-trade vote, it is not the uh, tremendous entrepreneurial spirit and talent the the country just needs to get this economy solidified and back on track. She's created and been part of the process of creating uh, government bureaucracy and the red tape that stands in the way of every small, medium, and large business in our district. Let me ask you this. We're talking with Karen Diebel, who is running against Suzanne Cosmas, running as a Republican in District 24. Would you credit Suzanne Cosmas for her no vote on um, Obamacare, the Nancy Pelosi House bill? No, not at all. Uh, Suzanne Cosmas voted for uh, the bill all the way through the iterations through committee. She also voted against the Stupac Amendment, which was an important part of the bill uh, all the way leading up to the bill. And I I don't think that uh, supporting the legislation all the way through just to be uh, take a, a, a no vote at the last grandstand, uh, I wouldn't credit her with that at all. In fact, uh, she's been a supporter all along in, in certainly all of the interviews and the um, conversations that she has done publicly, so no. Well, as I said on the show here, I mean, you take a look at the demographics of District 24. It was drawn for Tom Feeney. It's full of Republicans, and 08 was an aberration, as as we discussed here, and Cosmos has the seat. But I think she uh, must have realized that uh, it would be complete political suicide uh, unless she broke with her party on uh, on Obamacare, the Pelosi edition. Done, I believe, for political expediency. Sounds like you agree. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely agree. And uh, she she was part of the process and uh, certainly voted uh, very strongly and uh, up until the last vote. And it, and it absolutely was a, a political move there. How would you save jobs on the Space Coast? They're at risk by the thousands, if not tens of thousands, as we transition out of the shuttle program to goodness knows what at the Cape. What do you do in that regard? What can you do to make a difference if you're in Congress? Well, but the most important thing there is that we have uh, somewhere between six, seven, it's uh, even in excess of a prediction of 8,000 jobs that are at risk at the Space Coast. That, that's tremendous intellectual capital that we certainly do not want to leave our state, uh, much less our, our Space Coast, is retooling those particular jobs uh, to be able to attract different enterprise is the very most important thing. And what I do professionally for Verizon is that we figure out how to put different technology and tools in employees' hands so they can produce and be more efficient for their companies. 
and in a large part it is really attracting uh, different companies that that need that higher level of talent into the area. And we have plenty of places, government and non-government, that uh, can use the engineering and the technology talent and certainly uh, the thought leadership that we have over the space at the Space Coast. So I think there has to be a, a very, very strong effort to attract the companies in America to invest in particularly in District 24 and at the Space Coast to be able to provide new and different employment options. And All right, more with candidate uh, Karen Diebel running as a Republican for Suzanne Cosmas' seat in Congress, District 24, in just one minute. 